Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small review on the new miles that I just received, the Logitech G303 Wireless, uh, the Shroud Edition. So I was a big fan of the old G303. I took like three years to just find a proper mouse after uh, my G303, I think my left click broke. Um, so I went to Glorious with the Glorious O- and now I'm using the MZ1, I really like it. So I, I was really hyped with this mouse and I got kind of surprised when I saw like the shape change a little bit and the design a little bit change, the size also change. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the mouse. So we're gonna show you this beast over here. Let's start with some uh, spec. So first of all, it's using a sensor Eero from Logitech for sure. Uh, maximum 25,000 dpi, also 1,000 hertz for your pull rate. So the constant motion when you're using it, it, uh, it, it has like an intern battery, it's 70 hours, so it's kind of like a decent. Um, for the size, it's 125 millimeter long with 63.5 millimeter for the width and the depth is 40 millimeter. The weight of this mouse, it's 75 gram and Yes, now you have the USB-C, so you don't have to use the property uh, port from Logitech. So first of all, let's talk about uh, construction, like the build quality of this. It's pretty good. I don't have anything to say. No flex, no wobble when you move it. No also like weird feeling with the click, like you're feeling it's a double click when you're pressing it. It's really, really good. I don't have anything else to say about it. It's a very good mouse. When I want to talk about clicks, so left click and right click, for me, it's a TRS. It's amazing. I really like the clicks on this mouse. That's what I, I'm a big fan of my MZ1, but I'm not a huge fan of the clicks. And when I go back to Logitech, each time I'm using a Logitech mouse, I really like the way Logitech mouse click. So for me, it's really amazing. Also for the glide, for me also it's a TRS, uh, really good gliding, not too much, not too slow, it's perfect for control with a good like mouse pad, I really like it. You see that you have like big skates, big surface on the mouse, so really nice for that. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, it's the shape that they change. For me the shape, it's a TRB, I, I have a lot of issue with it, first of all, now the diamond shape is a little bit weird the way they do, did the angle over here. I'm not feeling very comfortable when I play an FPS game. It's a really good mouse when I, like, I'm playing Age of Empire, I'm on Windows and stuff like that. You have to be a claw gripper first of all. If you're palm gripping your mouse, forget about this mouse. I feel like my, uh, my end size is 18.5 centimeter long. So it's a pretty average um, and if you compare like um, on any mouse when they design it, normally they, they look at 18, 18.5, 19 when they, you know, they want to make like a claw mouse, they use those spec to design a mouse. I feel like if your uh, end size is like 20 centimeter long, you will probably like it, but if it's less than that, the, the shape feels weird. The bump over here, it's like in, in the middle of your mouse, you're not feeling really very comfortable to aim with this. Also the side button here, it's very like um, loose and sensitive, so I always like misclick my sad button when I'm playing with this mouse. So honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's a little bit bigger. It, it's not the same feeling than the G303 that I was using before. Uh, I, I play some uh, Call of Duty Warzone, some Battlefield also, and after that I compare it with my MZ1, and for sure I, I like, my MZ1 is a lot better than this for the shape, more precise. I, I can like, you know, just take my mouse fingertip or claw grip like very easily. This mouse is a little bit too big for me, and also the weight is a little bit high. It's 75 gram. It's not a huge deal because the honestly the mouse is very well balanced with the gram so it feels like maybe like a 70 gram 68 gram mouse it's not a huge deal honestly but uh, yeah that's pretty much it another thing that I want to mention you have like a small magnetic here that you can put your uh, dongle if you want uh, this I think weight like four or five grams so you can remove it if you want to uh, maybe lower a little bit the weight of your mouse, but this is pretty much it. 
It's a wireless mouse, so that's pretty amazing. Logitech wireless mouse are very good. I didn't see any input lag when I was clicking, moving, and stuff like that. You have a small dongle that you can plug. I recommend to put your dongle near from your mouse to make sure that you don't have any interference. So you wanna make sure that you have the best performance from your mouse, but uh, this is pretty much it. One more thing that I want to mention, it's the mouse wheel. I know a lot of people don't like it. For me, it's I, I like it, it's like, like a very old school mouse wheel with like small click, click for each one that when you're moving around. So for me, it's not a huge deal. It's one of my favorite also. Uh, I know a lot of people question like the, the way they design it, but for me, it's really good. The way you can click on it also, it feels very good. So nothing else to say about it. So really cool mouse, USB-C wireless and stuff. But for me at $169, the shape is a bit weird. Uh, for sure, it's not my. Uh, it's not even in my top five for shape. So uh, and I like those kind of shapes. It's not like I'm, I'm a guy who like like you know uh, the the shape that the glorious uh, O is that everybody is copying. I like weird shape, but this one is not good for me. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the review. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me any question about mouse. I have like more than 50 review that I did. Uh, right now, if you want to know what I'm currently using, I'm using the MZ1 as my main and my second one is my Glorious O-. For sure, I'm going to order the wireless version of the Glorious O- to, you know, just to have a feel. But I feel like right now my Edson 1 is pretty good. And if they do a MZ1 wireless, for sure I'm going to buy it. So this is it, guys. Peace.